Elevate Your Egg Game, next on Urban Kitchen Revolution. Hi, and welcome back to Urban Kitchen Revolution. I'm Chef James Hudson. Today, we're going to start a three-part series on eggs. Eggs are absolutely, positively one of my favorite things to cook, breakfast, lunch, dinner. There's utilizations for all of them. Uh, really, really dig eggs. Before we get into the two types of eggs that we're gonna cook today, which are going to be scrambled and sunny side up, I wanna talk a little bit about eggs themselves and about egg pans. But first, let's go to the egg pan. This is my house egg pan. I say it's my house egg pan because this is the only thing that goes in this pan. This is only for eggs. This is a Carlisle 8 inch aluminum nonstick uh, egg pan or nonstick pan. Like I said, I only use this for eggs. This is the only implement that goes in the eggs. No metal ever touches this, nothing else goes in this. Nonstick pans are notoriously bad for super high heat. That's what kind of gets, begins to uh, get deformities in the pan itself. Obviously the worst thing in the world, metal inside the pan causes scratch marks which ruins your finish. This is a restaurant grade egg pan. You can get this online for less than $20. Obviously there'll be a link in the, uh, on the website to this pan where you can find it and buy it. I highly recommend getting something like this if you really want to up your egg game. It really is probably the most single, single most important piece of elevating your egg game next to actually the eggs themselves. Next thing I want to talk about are, of course, eggs. Obviously we're talking about chicken eggs here and not duck eggs or quail eggs or anything like that. All the cooking methodologies are basically the same. Of course. There are def several different types of eggs which are going to yield different types of or different levels of quality for your actual finished product. As far as the color of the eggs, it really makes no difference. The only difference between brown eggs and white eggs are the kinds of chickens that lay them. It's still the same egg. What does matter for the quality of your egg is what kind is how the chicken itself was actually raised. In most stores, you're going to find one of three types of eggs. You're going to find regular eggs, which are usually those white eggs that you see in mass that are uh, basically factory eggs. These are uh, eggs laid by chickens that basically are just chicken, are just egg laying machines. The eggs roll down, they pack them up, and off they go, and they're really only graded by size. The eggs that I tend to try, try to get the that I use when I am cooking at home are either free range or pasture range. The difference between free range and pasture range is basically a free range egg is not that much different than a factory egg. It's just really one step up. The um, chickens themselves are allowed access to the out of doors. Uh, range fed eggs which are really the top echelon of egg are really are from chickens that are allowed basically to fully forage throughout a property. Uh, beside, you know, their diet is more supplemented by feed and is not primarily feed. They're eating seeds and grubs and bugs and that's going to give you a super, super dense orange sort of yolk that is absolutely just creamy and delicious. If you have access to a local farmer or a family friend that has eight, ten chickens running around their large backyard, absolutely, positively go for that. You won't believe the difference. It's like an egg you've never had before. So let's get right into it, or to use the pun, let's get cracking. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start off with scramble, and then we're going to go into what I call here at home the emoji egg or sunny side up. Both of these are relatively simple to do, but will really up your egg game when you do it correctly. So for scramble, we're just gonna take three eggs into a bowl. I use a fork, if you have a, if you have a uh, small whip, 
you can of course use that. I like to crack my egg on the, on the side of the cutting board before I put it over top of the bowl. That way you don't you reduce the risk of getting eggshell in. So one more time like this. Just a quick crack. And in. Now we're just going to simply give it a quick little whisk. I like to put a little bit of milk, this is whole milk, inside my egg, maybe uh, half an ounce, 15 grams or so. And you're looking to completely break up the yolk and then fully incorporate it into the whites. So you're know, getting basically it's how it has, it's really kind of going in a fine stream. A couple of pinches of kosher salt, a couple of cracks of black pepper, black, cracked black pepper. Give that another little whisk around again. And now we're going to go straight to the oven and get the, the stove rather and get this rolling. So let's do it. Okay, so here we are. We've got a, our 8 inch egg pan on the large burner on medium, just slightly under, just like just a hair shy on the low side of medium. You don't want your pan to be really hot. You really want to kind of take your time with these eggs. And you'll see how, how it'll make it just a far superior product. We're just going to get them butter so that it's nice and melted. But before it browns, got a good even coating. One more quick little whip of the egg. And we're just going to pour it in. Heat up to, like I said, full medium. And what we're doing, scrambled eggs, is constantly just sort of stirring around, taking the egg that started to congeal on the sides and pushing it into the middle. This is going to create smaller curds and also avoid browning, which you really don't want. Every once in a while, give it a good stir like that. And continue to push it around. And really, with scrambled eggs, the more you stir, the smaller the curd you're going to get, and the more toothsome and flavorful egg for a finished product. Now, the level of doneness is completely up to you. Obviously, some people like it dry, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I prefer a slightly more runny egg. Actually, for me, this is pretty much almost done. We're gonna go just a little bit longer. You see, I'm just kind of starting to stir. If you got some runny parts, kind of fold them into the bottom of the pan again. And. And that is basically that. I'm going to go ahead and plate this up right now. A little bit of fresh parsley for just for good measure. And there we go. Scrambled eggs, just that simple. Just going to rinse this pan out real quick with a little bit of warm water, and that's it. And right back to our emoji egg. Alright, so next is sunny side up, or the elusive emoji egg. What we're looking for here in th with this egg, well, we'll get to it here in a second. So again, medium heat. You don't want us to do these too high, any egg really too high. Nothing will be gained really from that, unless you're a really, really big fan of like a crusty outer ring on your egg, there's really nothing to be gained by having anything more than medium heat. So we've got the butter nice and melted. Do the same thing. We're just going to do two eggs here. A little crack on the side. Egg one. Egg two. 
egg two. Get that little bit of white that's spilled in the side, a little wipe down. Some kosher salt. Some cracked black pepper. Now the key to this egg is really just medium heat and just leaving it alone. That's really all we have to do. I'm going to give it a little shake every now and again to kind of get some of that white to evenly cook around. If you really, really want to up it up a little bit, obviously you can go ahead and kind of push this in a little bit just to make sure you get some even, you know, nice even round shape to the egg itself. And we're just going to let this be. That's really all you, that's really the key to this egg. Nice, medium, low, medium to medium, just a hair shy on the low side to, of medium low and some patience. This is going to take about all of two and a half, three minutes. As you're going to see when it's all over, we're just going to kind of let it be and be nice and beautiful and white all the way around with a nice creamy yolk on the top side. the pan a little swirl. Okay, the egg is mostly set. I'm going to garnish this one with just a little bit of fresh thyme leaf, just for some added extra tiny bit of spice. ready to go. As you can see, all of the white has solidified now. Starting to creep up a little bit on the sides here. And that is literally just that. You've got a nice beautiful nonstick pan that you haven't messed with. It slides right on out. And there we go. Emoji egg. Just that easy. So there you have it, two of the simplest and some of my favorite ways to prepare eggs. Join me next time when we delve into omelets as well as over easy and over medium eggs and we're going to follow that up with some brunch preparations including the production of hollandaise sauce and poached eggs. As always you can find me on the web at urbankitchenrevolution.com where you can find episode guides, recipes for everything that we've done here, as well as uh, product information like the Carlisle pan. I can also be reached on Twitter at James Hudson UKR, as well as Facebook at Urban Kitchen Revolution. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and as always, enjoy, and I'll see you next time. Bye.